it's Geraldine. I have a really massive CD haul to share with you today. The CDs were $1 each, so I kind of went a bit overboard, but I got all of these at a community garage sale. Actually, one house at a community garage sale. It was an older lady's house. She was very cute, and she was selling her entire CD collection. Her front, like the front part of her garage was full of boxes and they were all full of CDs, but I managed to practice self-control and I only got 40 <laughs> CDs. So let me show them to you. But first, if you've never seen me before, my name is Geraldine and I post videos over on Instagram and TikTok sharing all of my vinyl collection and all of my vintage audio. So if you'd like to see more of that, make sure to check those out. But now let's go through all my latest CD editions. So we'll start off with the first three CDs that I found and they were by Talking Heads. <laughs> so I knew by seeing these CDs, I knew there was gonna be good stuff in this whole collection. So the first one I found was Naked by the Talking Heads. I feel like this one isn't as it's like more underrated than their other albums. I don't see many people talk about it, but I love the song Nothing But Flowers. So I found that. I found True Stories by Talking Heads, but these two CDs that I just shared of the Talking Heads, I I mean of Talking Heads. I can't say the because I know people are gonna say it, say something about it in the comments. I still didn't have these two albums in my collection, so I was super excited to pick these two up. And then I also found this compilation. It is Talking Heads popular favorites, but then I noticed that the track listing, it doesn't have any of their like beginning, like their first stuff. So I was like, oh, that's very interesting for popular favorites because it's like mostly their later stuff, but I noticed that it's disc two. So that means there's a disc one somewhere out there that I need to get because I only have disc two. But next I found two CDs by Susie and the Banshees. I was super excited to find these because I don't have that much of them in my collection. I only have one vinyl record and it's this one. I don't remember what it's called, but it looks like this. And um, so I found Superstition and then I found the time, I mean, I was, about, I was about to say Once Upon a Time. It's Twice Upon a Time, the singles, and it has so many good songs. The cover of The Passengers, uh, This Wheel's on Fire, which I was listening to recently, Kiss Them For Me, Swimming Horses, Dear Prudence. And I was like, why does this not have Spellbound? That's the only song I think this is missing. Next is gonna be a whole bunch of compilations and I thought the compilations would be perfect so I could take on the go, like in the car or in with my portable CD player. So first I found David Bowie. This is a collection. Of, their, of his singles from 1969 to 1993. So it's a bunch. It's a double CD, so it has 20 tracks on one CD and then 19 tracks on another. So that's a lot of music, but I was very excited to pick this up. It kind of has this like extra flyer inside that doesn't let the CD close, which is kind of annoying. Next, I found the B-52s. This is Time Capsule, another compilation. It has a whole bunch of their tracks from their earlier to later years so it goes from planet claire all the way to like um love shack and channel z and stuff but yeah excited to pick this up next i got the pretenders packed and i actually already own this cd i didn't realize i'm usually really good at remembering everything that i have whether it's on vinyl cd or cassette tape but i somehow forgot i had this so i might be giving this to somebody gifting it to somebody <laughs> Next, I got Kate Bush, The Whole Story. I do not have anything of Kate Bush in my collection, so I think this is a perfect first edition. It's a really great album. It has a whole bunch of her most like iconic songs. I was a little bummed out that the first track, Weathering Heights, it's a new vocal mix, which I was not that much of a fan of. I'm more into the original song, so I have to hunt hunt the album with that song on there. But next I got some Ska with the specials. This is the singles collection. I actually have the special self-titled album on cassette. So it was great to just get a CD of their like bigger hits. But yeah, very excited to listen to this one. Next is one I already own, but on cassette tape and it is Erasure's Pop 20 Hits. I love so, so many songs on this. So I had to have it. Uh, my favorite track is Ola Moore. I love that song so, so much. But then when I think of Chains of Love, that's like a very close second. And uh, there's just so many good songs on this. It was a must have. I had to have it. 
Next, another compilation. This is Brian Ferry and Roxy Music Street Life 20 Greatest Hits. I have four Roxy Music albums and two Brian Ferry. Wait, actually one Brian Ferry album and a single of Brian Ferry. But I don't have anything on CD, so I decided to pick this up. It was only a dollar. Next for another compilation, but this one's a, like a mix. So it's Rock the Planet, Cutting Edge. And I picked it up because it has R.E.M., The Replacements, 10,000 Maniacs, and has New Order to Faith, Erasure, Chains of Love, which I literally just talked about, <laughs> Depeche Mode, Strange Love, and the one that like sealed the deal for me to get the CD was Laurie Anderson, Oh Superman, because I was literally talking about that song like a couple of days before and I was like wow I really need to listen to that on my stereo system and now I can. Uh, next for another compilation it is 10 greatest hits of the Red Hot Chili Peppers but the thing is this is greatest hits from 1984 to 1989 and when I was looking at the back of this track listing I do not know a single song of this so I was like oh I need to check this out because I know all of their most popular stuff like from the 90s but I'm not familiar with a single track on this so decided to pick it up so I can give this a listen. Next two are some compilations from the 60s so the first one is East Side Story Volume 6. I was super super excited about this. My mom actually was the one who found it in the massive stack and she remembered that I was literally talking about um these albums, the East Side Story albums, and that it would be really cool if I could find the original albums for them. Like, that'd be insane. But she remembered I was talking about these and she's like, wait, weren't you looking for this? And yes, yes I was. So I was super excited to find this. My favorite track on this is Dry Your Eyes by Brenda and the Tabulations. So yeah, very excited about that one. And next for another 60s, but this is more like early it's early girls volume one so it's like a whole bunch of girl groups from the 60s i'm only familiar with three songs on this dedicated to the one i love by the shirelles because that one's super iconic angel baby by rosie and the originals which i recently got on 45 and then i recognized popsicles and icicles which is listed here by the mermaids and i always remember that 45 because i love the 45 label of it it's like super cute with the pink label and like the the little <laughs> the little picture on top but since i love those three songs and i didn't know any of the other ones i figured that all the other tracks would be good too so i'm excited to listen to it so that was all for compilations now we are starting to actual albums so i found the color and the shape by foo fighters super classic album this always reminds me of playing guitar hero when i was 13 years old so I had to have it. It was only a dollar. Must have. Next, Upstairs at Eric's by Yaz. I actually showed this in my previous video I posted because I have this on cassette and on vinyl, but now I have it on CD and it was like a no-brainer. It had to come home with me. Next, Tears for Fears, The Seeds of Love. I actually don't have this in my collection yet, so I was super excited to pick this up, to pick this up because I love Tears for Fears. Uh, so many good songs on this. I love Woman in Chains, Sowing the Seeds of Love, Advice for the Young at Heart. And I also like when the CDs have like the D-13 where they don't have the barcode, which makes them like club edition. And I don't know, it just makes them, I don't know, I just find them a little more special. And there's like, I think like almost all of them are like that. So that's even cooler. So yeah, Tears for Fears. Next, I found Morrissey, Your Arsenal. Yeah another one of those club edition ones so yeah Morrissey. Next I found U2 War. I actually have this on vinyl but I just have the disc no like album cover so I was like oh I need I need the actual album cover on something so I found the CD of it so yeah great album. Next for another no-brainer that I had to have and that is Mazzy Star so tonight that I might see uh, Fade Into You is like one of the greatest songs ever so I'm very excited to play this on my uh stereo system so yeah I'm very excited about that one next I found Chris Isaac's San Francisco Days there's actually a bunch of Chris Isaac albums there like Heart Shaped Worlds but I did not pick that up because I already have that on CD but I was looking for the one that had uh two hearts because I love that song and that is on this one so stoked to find this. Next, I found Romeo Void, Warm in Your Coat. The CD case has like this weird 
burn mark on the front which i have no idea how it would get that i got this for never say never which i hope to one day have on vinyl but the cd will hold me out for now next i found some depeche mode so we have multiple depeche mode so first i actually found a single so it's depeche mode stripped i love that track it's on a like this cardboard cd which is kind of washed away like it has some wear and tear on the cover but the cds are in perfect condition like every single cd looks unplayed next i found songs of faith and devotion by depeche mode i actually had this I actually had the cd but just the disc itself in one of those like cd booklets that you like i was about to say scroll that you like look through to find your cd but i've had to get like the actual cover so now i have it in the whole cover and case and stuff the one that i was most excited about was celebration by depeche mode because i've been listening to this album a lot in my last video i said that my favorite song right now is fly on the windscreen and that is still true so yeah it has that song on here but this album is perfect from beginning to end and then even though i already have this on cd violator by depeche mode i had to get another copy so i can leave this one in the car and have the one i already own here next to my cd player next for some 90s even though that depeche mode is sort of the last depeche mode is sort of 90s but i have sublime self-titled album this album is so good I used to listen to this a whole bunch during high school. Like that was in my playlist. I listened to it every day. Now I have it on CD. Next for one of my favorite bands. So I was very excited about this and it is New Order Republic. I always think the cover of this is kind of funky. I don't know. It's like very contrasting with the burning fire and then the beach. But I can finally play Regret. I love that song so much and also World. So I was very excited to pick this up. Next, one that I wasn't really expecting, and that is the Sugar Cubes. This is Stick Around for Joy. I have a whole bunch of tracks on this on my playlist that I listen to all the time. So I was very excited to find this one. And next, oh my god, I was like, I was freaking out when I found this CD because it is Corner Shop when I was born for the seventh time. I was not expecting this one at all. It has one of my favorite songs of all time, Brimful of Asha, I, that's my favorite music video because I'm the girl in that video. I just, I love 45s and she's like throwing 45s and playing them like crazy on little vintage um, record players and it's like the cutest music video ever. I am obsessed with everything about that music video and the song. So yeah, I was super, super excited to find the CD for this. This like made the whole day. Next, I found Medusa by Annie Lennox. I was listening to the song. No, I was watching this TV show like a couple weeks back that had the song No More I Love You's and I was like, oh my God, I need to find that so I can play it on my stereo system and it's on this. And I just noticed like looking through the track listing that this is a whole bunch of covers so yeah, it has Waiting in Vain by Bob Marley and Train in Vain by The Clash. So I'm excited to check out the other songs on this. But we have gone through the first two stacks and now for the last stack. So the next two, I was surprised that this was in this collection, that this, <laughs> that this lady had these two CDs and that is Various Failures by Swans and uh the downward spiral by nine inch nails i was like wow she does listen to everything so yeah i was very excited to find these two very surprised so i had to pick them up for a dollar this one's a double cd the swans one and the nine inch nail has like the club thing and it's like a slip case and the seed the actual cd looks so cool with like i don't know it's like really interesting that you open like the case and you insert the CD backwards into it. Very cool, very happy to pick this one up. And then this next one, I actually meant to leave it because I cannot play this. I just grabbed it at first because it sounded interesting. And it is a Todd Rundgren album. It is called No World Order, but it's actually for the Mac. The Mac, but like the 90s Mac, not like the new Mac. This lets you play the album, but you can like change everything about the album, like how it sounds, the mood, mix, tempo, everything about it. So I thought it was interesting, but I meant to leave it because I can't play this 
maybe one day I'll be able to play it. Now these next three CDs are stuff from this actual century. So first, Amy Winehouse, uh, Back to Black. Uh, this album is so, so good. If you've never listened to it, definitely check it out. It's like must listen. Uh, my favorite track on this is probably Tears Dry on their own. So good. This next one reminds me of my iPod Nano that I owned back in 2009 and I was obsessed with Katy Perry back then. I was in middle school and I had a whole bunch of tracks off of this on the iPod. So this is Katy Perry Teenage Dream and it's like on a cardboard one and it opens up to like a candy candy cd but i am not ashamed to say i love this album it's like a perfect pop album next i found torches by foster the people whenever i listen to this album it takes me back to my middle school days it immediately takes me back to that time when i listened to pump up when i listened to pumped up kicks helena beat or houdini but yeah i love foster the people okay now this last stack is of stuff that seemed interesting that i haven't listened to before and i was like oh for a dollar i should just pick this up to see if i like it so the first one is a soundtrack of a movie i've never seen before and it is until the end of the world it looked like a very interesting soundtrack because it has talking heads julie cruz lou reed um rem elvis costello patty smith nick cave and the bad seeds and depeche mode and i was like oh we should pick this up to see what it's all about so yeah i picked that one up maybe i'll see the movie one day next to our grunge so i found l7 the beauty process triple platinum and whole pretty on the inside these are two albums that i've never listened to before so i thought i should check those out two grunge girl albums Next I found Get Behind Me, Satan, The White Stripes. I haven't really listened to much of their music besides like the most popular songs and I like those so I figured I should give them a chance and listen to this album. So let me know what your favorites off of this are so I can check those out. Next is an In Excess album that I've never heard of before and it is Welcome to Wherever You Are. This is from like came out in the 90s. But I, what I found interesting about it is that it's like the CD opens up very interesting. Like it pulls apart and it's like a cardboard one and it like completely opens up to reveal. It's like a trapper keeper, <laughs> but it has a little booklet in this little folder and it completely opens up to like show all this artwork. No, no, it just looked very interesting. Excited to check this one out. Next, I found Beck Odelay. I know one song off of this, which I think is Hot Wax, but I decided to pick it up to listen to all the other tracks on this. So yeah, this is another, this is another club edition. Next, Erasure Cowboy. I'm not familiar with this. I didn't even know this existed. I don't even know if it's an album or an EP. At first, I thought it was like a single, but it's not. But yeah, excited to listen to this Erasure. And lastly, for the last album, I found Pearl Jam. I am not familiar with this album. I think it's the self-titled. If it's not, correct me, please, in the comments. But I have Pearl Jam 10 on cassette and CD, and I love that album. And I also have Vital or Vitalogy on cassette and I also love that one so I decided to pick this one up because I've never listened to it so I thought it was a good good pickup so those were all the CDs I found I'm super excited to add these to my collection and be able to listen to them I've also been making a mini disc mixtapes off of my CDs so, I'm, so now I have more CDs to make more mixtapes out of so I'm excited for that but let me know what you thought of my haul and if you liked any of the CDs I picked up if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and if you'd like to see more of my content make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching